being here for people who are blind and cannot see. Um, the internet as the development of the internet has given blind people a great possibility they did not have before. They can by themselves uh, get the, get that information that they can usually not they can not read the newspaper. Um, but they can get information through the internet, they can like read train schedules, find telephone numbers, they can read phone books and all like that. So the internet is very important for uh, the blind and uh, so to make your pages and sites uh, accessible for them is even more important and we're going to, sh to demonstrate uh, a few things uh, how blind people are working. This is uh, on the one hand there is a screen reader, the most uh, the most used software is called JAWS, which is like uh, sitting on top of windows and reading uh, what you type, reading what is on the screen. The second, uh, the second tool is the Braille, uh, how do you say, it? line. She's got 40 characters of Braille on, on this little device. And uh, when she's moving, or when JAWS is moving over the screen, it also uh, prints, yeah, it can put the text on, on the brain so they can read um, Yeah, oh, we wanted to show you. This is the best thing. Any, any guys uh, familiar with Windows here? <laughs> you know, I'm a Mac user, so I just plug it in and there it is. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Alright, so right at the top, um, it's not very, it's not very well visible. Um, but right at the top there is one one line, and this is for you to see what is what is displayed on this braille uh, thing. It's 40 characters, and in fact that's the window she has on the side. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's what she sees uh, from this side. And so they they, they also have to like uh, make a mental picture of the site in their head to navigate. Do we have internet access here? Wireless? Yeah, well, we have to the card, but whether it works. Uh, yeah, yeah, now we're using local walls for plum, but we wanted to show, like, uh, yeah, if it's possible, we're going to show it uh, afterwards. There's like uh, the phone book lookup, the Austrian electronic phone book, is so difficult for blind people. We really wanted to show this. It's absolutely crazy. This, the, the entire page is full of advertisement. And the phone number that you're actually looking for is like the last thing on the page. Yeah? And for people who can see, it's uh, it's easy to locate, but for those who can't and have to move through the site in like 40 character increments or uh, in ways like that, it's, it's very, very difficult. Um, okay, so um, Mrs. Howard is working with Plum since last week. And Plum is in fact, uh, Plum is in fact already very, uh, very good for, for the screen reader because all the elements are named, forms are named, form elements are named, and these are all things that the screen reader can use to allow them to navigate more easily and uh, to like tell them which field they are in when they're when they're working on the form and things like that. And uh, I'm going to put the microphone now near the near the computer so we can hear Charles talk um, and. This is how she's going to work on your plum side. Von 
slightly, and you can see what kind of difficulties difficulties this can cause. Because yeah? uh, you really have to have to like have a have a image of the site, create an image of the site and of the page in their head, and if you like arbitrarily change stuff over, they they have to relearn the entire site again. Now going to add a document to this folder. 